I, I really need to clean this mirror, um, but I'm gonna show you my outfit before I head to work. Okay, I think that's much better, um, but this is what I'm wearing. Uh, yes, this is the same sweater I wore yesterday if you watched my last vlog. Um, I just like it and it's cashmere, so why not we wear it? I was only wearing this for a couple of hours anyway. Um, trousers, and then these are my new shoes from Nine West. Today's outfit looks like this. I feel very lazy in the morning when I'm getting dressed. I even have my hair up today because I just could not be bothered. Um, I think it's just the cooler weather. I love cooler weather because you get to wear cashmere and layers, but after coming back to it from being in Santorini, it's just like blah. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. This is from Lord & Taylor. It's just a light wool, might even be merino wool sweater. Um, these trousers are from RW Co. And then I'm wearing these new shoes from Design Lab that I got at Hudson's Bay. It kind of coordinates with my outfit. I'm leaving work right now and it is very cold. It's only like five and a half degrees Celsius and I'm kind of hungry. I'm leaving work a little bit later. I'm still trying to catch up on work. Um, so yeah, I was gonna go to the bay after work today to pick up some more cashmere sweaters because Lauren Taylor has a bunch of cashmere sweaters on um, in stock right now however I have opted not to I think I might just go tomorrow I'm home now and I got an Amazon order so I think I placed a couple <laughs> different Amazon orders so this probably won't be the last time you see an Amazon order arrive in this weekly vlog but I got a couple of cases and also a case for the bow and a screen protector and some other random stuff I think the most exciting part about this order is the case. So as you guys know, I got a new iPhone and the iPhone 6 and 6S cases actually allegedly fit the iPhone 7 pretty well, but I just got one that said for iPhone 7. This is what my phone currently looks like. It still has the original uh, plastic wrapping on it. I know someone at work asked me if I'm so worried about scratches why I didn't just get the mat and to be honest if I got the mat I would still put a case on it because the aluminum body is slippery as hell so I might as well go with the one that I like best. The case that I did get is called the Spigen Thin Fit Slim Design for Perfect Grip. It actually came in a lot of different colorways. Um, I just went with the, actually the matte black. They had a glossy option, but I like the look of this one, at least from what I could tell. It's very lightweight. It does have kind of like a matte rubberized texture to it. So let's peel this off. So this is what the case looks like on. Very thin, very slim, feels very good. The phone feels excellent without all the plastic covering. It just feels so good. The button is more responsive. So I am pretty happy with this case. I don't know if I love it. I do like how slim it feels. I do like the texture of it. Um, I don't like how it doesn't go all the way around. So as you can see, um, the case only goes to the edges. It doesn't go, it doesn't cover the top. Um, and I also don't like how it doesn't have that much of a lip. So when you set it face down, I don't feel like it's, it offers a lot of um, protection um, but other than that it's a really nice case it's very minimalistic I like the matte color on the glossy uh, finish I think it looks very nice I'm wearing such a monochromatic outfit it almost feels like a jumper but this is a cashmere sweater from Lord & Taylor I'm going to um, maybe go after work tonight to see if I can pick up a couple more I might get some brighter colors. All of my cashmere sweaters right now are neutrals. Like I have two shades of gray, two camel colors. Wait, no, I have one pink one, but I think I might get a couple more colors. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, my trousers are from Joe Fresh. I really like the wide leg look. This is the shorter one because I am wearing flats. I am just leaving work now. If I look like I'm wearing a different outfit than I was this morning, it's because I am. I changed in the middle of the day because I had to do some manual labor. I don't know why I chose to wear such a heavy, thick um, 
I'm not wearing my ring and I just had a panic attack because I was thinking holy shit where did I put that thing but I realized I put it in my pocket because like I said I was moving a bunch of boxes around we had to move our storage room uh, the contents of our storage room to a different room uh, so whew, it's in my pocket still um, so I was doing that and I didn't want to get um, obviously my dress clothes dirty well not even that it's just uncomfortable to move stuff in dress clothes so um, I changed and that's why I look a little bit different now I'm heading home. The beau actually stayed home from work today because he wasn't feeling very well and I'm also not feeling great. Oh, I also got uh, my Amazon order. So um, it's the other case that um, I bought for my phone and I think I might keep that one and return the one that I'm currently using. I think I'll like the other one a little bit better, but we'll see. I'm home from work now and I want to show you my Amazon order. So. Kubo was home today, like I mentioned earlier, I think. So he um, collected it from our mailbox. So I got some screen protectors. I, I'm always on the fence about screen protectors. I always use them in the beginning, and then as time goes on, I find them useless and pointless, and I end up not using them anymore. But it's a new phone, so I figured I'd protect the screen for a little bit. And then this is the other case that I got. So this is the iPhone 7 Liquid Armor from Speakin. I am excited. I'm gonna switch it up and see which one I like best. Okay, I definitely like this case a lot better than the other one. So I will be returning this one. It's not that it's bad, um, it's a perfectly fine case, but this one, as you can see, goes all the way around on the top, on the sides, and it also has a bit of a lip. So when I put it face down, it's not directly on the counter, or the table. Hi, I am heading home now. It's Friday, it's the weekend. This week went by so fast because I was so freaking busy at work. But um, yeah, I feel very ill. I actually had to do this like big presentation in my division today, and I sounded awful. <laughs> But it's okay. I think it still went well. So I'm heading to work. I'm heading home now and That is uh, where I'm at. I don't think I showed you guys what I wore to work today So this is what I wore. I'm still absolutely obsessed with this Uniqlo um, Wool cashmere blend jacket. I love the color. I love the look. I am so glad That I picked this coat up this is what I'm wearing under the coat. Um, just a cashmere sweater from Lord & Taylor. The skirt is from H&M. Some dark tights and these boots are from Zara. Hi, it's been a while since I have vlogged because I've been sick. But now I'm feeling much better and I'm vlogging again. I forgot to show you guys my outfit today. I don't know that I love my outfit today, but I had this shirt that I picked up from H&M. I think I hauled it in a vlog. So yeah, I'll show you guys how I wore it when I get home. I'm also eating leftover Halloween candy because yesterday was Halloween. So this is my outfit that I wore today. Um, my shirt kind of got untucked when I was sitting in the car, but um, as you can see, a very high collar, um, puffy shoulders, tucked in, flared pants, heels. It's not my usual work style. I don't normally wear something this formal. Uh, especially with like the French cuffs, but I kind of was feeling it today. It's in my closet, so I figured I would wear it and see how it goes. Hi, I just got home from work and I got Botox today. So it wasn't planned. I actually went with my mom to her Botox appointment and um, I ended up getting a few units. I'm totally not against any of that stuff, so I'm sorry if that offends you that I got Botox. Aside from it being preventative, which is always a good thing because I do have some forehead wrinkles. I also heard that it could potentially improve uh, the breakouts on my forehead. So that's definitely a big plus for me. So I thought I would try it out. This is day one of um, my experience with Botox. This is, I just got the units in today and let's do a little test here. So I got some units in here a little bit over above my brows and then some at the top so you can maybe see all of the little um red spots all over my forehead so let's do the frown test so so 
So let's see how it looks in a couple of days. Happy Friday, I am heading home now, so that's exciting. I think the Bone and I are gonna go for a fry date tonight to Nando's. I'm excited, I haven't been there in a while. I think we got a coupon in the mail, that's why we're going. It's also the start of the VIB sale. I might pop in, I only need one thing. I only plan on getting one thing because I have a big purchase coming up soon. I'm gonna get a new MacBook, so. I don't really want to spend too much money at Sephora, but I can't resist checking it out, so I'm gonna go see. I want to get a Shiseido, the Benfiance um, face cream, I think it is. I really like the eye cream, so I want to try the face cream. That's really all I want to get and or even need to get, so yeah, nothing really exciting this year. I'm home now, and I think I'm gonna change. Did I show you guys what I was wearing today? I don't remember, but I think I'm going to change into jeans for the Bow and Eyes Friday. Just to quickly show you guys what I wore today, um, I just wore this, I don't know what this is, it's like a polyester blend top <laughs> and these pants from RW & Co. I think this is from Vero Moda at the Bay. I am home now and I'm testing out the camera on my new iPhone 7. Um, it's supposed to have like image, image stabilization I think, so we'll see how it works. But I just got home from dinner at Nando's, it's very good. And I also stopped by Michael's and I picked up a couple more Happy Planner things because I clearly have a problem, so I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, so um, here are some covers. I really, really like these covers. They actually had some really cool ones at Michael's. They had these like faux leather bound ones. They're just basically heavy duty um, planner covers and I really like them, but I didn't really think they were very practical for me and I figured they would add a bit of weight to the planner and they were also $40 each, which is kind of crazy. These were $12.99 and I got a 50% off coupon, so these were like seven bucks. And I just like them. So there's three different covers here, front and back. And then I also got another planner. I know I seriously have a problem, but when I saw that they finally had the rose gold one, I had to pick it up. I got a coupon, so yeah, I got 50% off, so it only came to $22.59. And um, I just really like this planner because I love the rose gold and um, it just looks very pretty. I also really like how the weekend doesn't have any color. This one also doesn't have the bar, which I kind of miss, but um, it's okay. I can have stickers for that. I will say though that I'm not a huge fan of the cover. Um, I don't know. I just don't like what it says. I don't like the you are amazing. So I will probably put on this cover if not um, one of these ones because yeah, just not a fan of this one. Thank you. 